What's going on? It's the Rap Nerd, and I'm here today to talk about Hulu's newest original horror film called No One Will Save You. Now, it follows a girl who I'm for, forgetting her name at the moment because there's not really much dialogue spoken, but that's not a testament to the film. But she's trapped in her house trying to escape a home invasion from aliens. Yes, a home invasion by aliens. Now, this film, man, has so much to say. And it covers so much ground without any dialogue spoken, like I said just a second ago. Like, when, when the credits rolled, I was in my seat like, damn, there is a lot to take away from what just happened in the film. Like, I kind of want to get into spoilers. Not going to do it, though, but I'm going to make a spoiler video just to really discuss what was going on. Like, wh what is this, right? So, one of the, the, the big things, when the movie starts, you see this girl in her house and the camera does a really good job of panning around so you see little things here and there stuff you really can't read because it passes by but i'm guaranteed you if you pause it there's more to be said here she goes in town and like for one her house is kind of like away from everything so she's like lives in this forest filled area with like a lot of trees and you know plant life so she goes into town and when she gets there everyone's just looking at her strangely you know at one point, somebody spits on her. And I was just kind of like, what the fuck? And you see the girl kind of hyperventilate. She runs back home and, and you tell her home was her safe space. So when she gets there, that's when the aliens show up. And I will say this. They don't hide the aliens at all. Now, for some people, that may be a huge turn off because it's like, it's no longer scary if you see the aliens. I know some people like feel like that when it comes to horror movies. You show the creature, it's not scary. But for some people, seeing the creature and just being able to sit there and look at it in its full being and, and see every little particle and detail of it is terrifying as hell. I'm kind of in the middle because I think there could be a detriment to both, honestly, but if done right, I think it works for story. And for me personally, being able to see the aliens really works because it's, it's an alien believer's worst nightmare. I think people who do believe in aliens this is something that w will be very effective because, I mean, the aliens are literally front and center. Like, it's not anything about, like, peeking around and you see one run and you're missing them or they're blurry or out of focus. They are right here. And what makes it even better is there are, like, different types of aliens in here. It's almost like they're of the same species, but they're, like, different versions of the aliens. And there are some designs in here that made me... Yeah, it creeped me out. I was like, ugh. Like, there's one that's got, like... I'm not going to say it, but... If, you, if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. There's one specifically that was just doing shit with his arms, and I was just like, ugh, that's making me... My skin crawl. So I think it was effective in that in that note. But, like, if you don't like that, then you might not like that movie. And, of course, the aliens are CGI aliens, but I think they looked really, really good. There are a lot of, there's a lot of detail in their design because you get close-ups, and you can literally see... Like the, the skin and you know the the texture of their skin and all that, so they do a really really great job. I'm honestly kind of upset that they didn't put this in theaters because I feel like this movie would have been hell of effective in theaters. Like there's some moments here involving like the actual craft that just made me go like gave me chills just the idea of seeing something like that. Kind of like how Note did. Like when you see a flying saucer on a big screen like that just moving the way it does. It's terrifying and here it's the same way and they add a, a particular design to that here and just the interesting things that they did with the aliens from the way their technology worked to things that they would do to the ways that they would move it's a creep fest like all that stuff worked well it creeped me the fuck out like i i was in here like wow this is i don't usually get creeped out about my alien stuff but here i i believe it was pretty damn effective but with all that in a nutshell, right, we get all the alien stuff and these different things that happen. There's a, a point where we start to learn more about, you know, this woman's backstory. And we learn it through, like, images. Like, nothing is even said. We don't know, you know, what, how it got to this or anything. But we see the flashbacks and why, what like I said earlier, happened. And it almost makes you go, like... Okay, so if that happened, how is she able to be here, period? And once that can of worms is open, 
the movie opens totally because it's like, what is happening? Like, honestly, God, truth, I don't want to spoil it, but from that moment on, the movie becomes something completely different. Like, it, it's it's way different. And then you start that one ask questions about what the hell is up with the aliens, and you're like, what the hell is up with wherever the hell we're at? What is going on? Like, I really gonna watch. I really want to watch it again just so I can take in the bits and pieces of what the hell is actually going on because there is a lot happening once you get to that point because it seems like it's just a typical invasion story but it's a lot more than that just from where it goes in the third act and these little bits and pieces of things that happen even in the second act like there's a moment when you know the the aliens come she's able to you know escape them you know for that first night she wakes up it's daytime and then even that daytime scene just is kind of like what is going on here? So, all in all, this film was a lot more than the alien invasion story. And if you go in just wanting that, that aspect might piss you off or you might not care because I've seen some people say, I didn't care about any of that stuff. I didn't, you know, I wasn't invested. But for me, it really pulled me in and made it a hell of an interesting invasion story that I would like to see the writer and director. I think it's, I think it's the same guy. I, w- I would like to see their commentary on all these different aspects and how they thought about these different things because really interesting concepts man that I've never really seen done in an alien movie I'm not saying they haven't been done but I haven't seen a lot of the stuff that I saw here which was interesting I mean there's some invasion of the body snatchers type stuff going on but then there's like something totally different like you see that aspect of it and then it just changes completely so very creative, I will say that. So I enjoyed the film. So Hulu right now, if you are interested, I would say it's definitely worth the watch. I think even if you don't like it like that, you will be able to pull something from it. So that being said, if you've seen the movie, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Be kind as usual. If you like this kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, thank you. And until next time, peace. Rap nerd productions, no capping, that's word to mommy.